All right, what is it, dude? Shakshan here, back in once again, and today, um, this is like part of another tutorial for uh the um how to transfer eggs into your Pokemon, and this one, uh, first I want to give out a shout out to Lorcan Lavin. Sorry if I um pronounced your um name wrong, but he said, "Hey, please respond. I have a Mac, and I don't know how to do the." Um, save file thing. So if you know how to do um do it, can you help? So sure, I can help. And if you ever want to shout out in one of my videos, make sure you leave a suggestion below for a tutorial, and I'll hopefully get it up. So um of course at first you want to go to your internet and uh I have Google Home. I actually don't have a Mac, but the process is basically the same. You have to do the same thing. So you just and you just go to Pokegen, and then you click on the first link. It should say Pokegen Project Pokemon, and uh, you want <laughs> this is direct link, but um, this is not it. Don't do anything here. You just click on download another information, and then you want to click on three point one point one three. And he said, this is a link some people don't get it. So, while it's downloading, um, you, whatever game you're doing, uh, if you're doing, like, a, if you're doing, like, a DS game or something, um, or you want, like, um, WinR, helps a lot. And then you just want to extract all that to, I'll just put it in... Pokemon add ons. Yes, to all. Alright, so this is really quick. And, um, for, uh, DS games, for, you'd, I'd use the emulator of Desmume. I highly recommend it. It, um, helps a lot. <coughs> Actually, helps a lot. So, uh, if you want to download Desmume, uh, I'll, I'll also put the link in the description for this. You just want to type in Desmume download. And then click on the first link once again. And then, uh, whatever you use on Mac, uh, for the person who said he has a Mac. So I guess you'd want to pick Mac binary. And then you just want to download something. Alright, and if you're doing, um, the, uh, like, um, a single screen game like Pokemon Ruby, uh, you, I use, um, VBA. Um, I highly recommend that too. Advanced, they actually work really well. Um, and for you, since you're using a Mac, I'm just gonna say for Mac. And then it'd be this one. And then it's fine. It's everything is all free. Don't worry. And um, so yeah, there's also ROMs at this site, Chlorom. Um, there's like um, it's. From black and white too. I don't think they have Pokemon X and Y, but I will check. No, they don't. So they have everything from Pokemon Black 2 and White 2 down. And they um they also have quite some ROM hacks. Like they even have Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, which is for the GameCube. Uh, if you have a GameCube uh, emulator, I can recommend that. So, um, what you want to do is like open up your emulator, and I'm just gonna do uh, <coughs> like Desmume, which I find it much easier. So, um, just let me find the four. Um, no, it's not in here. What am I doing? Randomizer. There you go. And then, um, you're just going to open up any game that you have. Um, I'm just going to do the Pokemon Heart Gold that I've been recording on my YouTube. And if you haven't checked it out, check it out. You have fun time. And then I'm just going to open it up. And he said he was confused about the .save file. Desmume uses .dsv, I think. But it's the same thing. If you want a .save file, you want to use, um, Pokemon, I mean, 
you want to use Visual Boy Advance right here where my mouse is. This Visual Boy Advance. You want to use Visual Boy Advance if you want to get dot save. And if you want a dot DSV file, you want to use Desmond. So I'm just going to show you. You just have to do the same thing on both. You just save. And then. So you can just close out of it now. And um you go to battery or something. Yeah, you go to battery and you should have a battery file. We downloaded Desmume. If you don't then if you don't use Desmume, I don't know what to say. Because I promise you it will be the same thing for the Mac. You literally have to do the same thing. And yeah, so you just save, and you'll see all these DSV files. And then you'll, if as I said, if you're using like Visual Boy Advance, you'll get a dot save file. So I'm pretty sure that is what you were accent accent. But um, if that wasn't, please leave it in the um comment below, and also leave your suggestions for a tutorial. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.